Hello, and welcome. I'm Zynder, and here we are, sitting in the throne by uh, Bonfire in Solitude. I've made a fresh new save, because I have removed better fast travel, just as a thing. Um, I've also disabled the reflections in ENB, because I had to, because they were insta-crashing my game upon loading into the world, so that was fun. I've added in new spells, with those new spells being, uh, I think it's called Spells of Tamriel. It adds in a bunch of, like, spells from the old, uh, from Morrowind and Oblivion, things such as Open Lock and whatnot. And it also, that includes some poison-based spells, so now we have the option of Augmented Poison. Uh, is this new? No, no, this is dual casting. But... Uh, there's a mod that I've actually had in here for a while, which I've never actually showed off. Uh, I guess we'll start with the greatsword. Oh, I've also added in uh, better shaped weapons, because, let's face it, some weapons are completely ridiculous. So, after hitting a target dummy for a little while, I'm not going to do it too much, I'm just going to do this to show it off. I'm on. Focus on your targets. Be careful. Soon, TM, I should get a level up on my two-handed. Unless I get bored of doing this before then. Because my two-handed is actually a fairly high level. Uh, it's 32 because of how we started out skill-wise. Which means that this is going to take a while to gain a single skill, but it was at about half. And now if we look, it's up to about two-thirds. And this also works for magic and arrows, although arrows have to be used on those. And I'm not sure which one's magic is used on. Maybe this one? Probably this one. Um, but all in all... While we are here in Solitude, I've added in Armored Circlets because otherwise I'm not going to gain access to some uh, features of the Armor Tree. And, you know, you might think, oh, well that's, you know, a fair trade-off because you're not wearing a helmet. But the thing is, I already outlined why I don't like helmets, so... I'm not necessarily going to go into that, but I am going to take things I don't really need, the bow, but not things that, you know, basically weigh stuff. Eh, I'll put that in there for the moment. And that. Because I'm not going to deal with stuff too much at the moment. I mostly am looking to gain back as, about as much weight as I can get. Here, even have the meat. I looked into the... Uh, Daedric quest, by the way. A majority of the Daedric quests have a requirement of level 12, which we are not at yet. We are currently level 10. So there's that. So, oh, what am I doing? I actually want to use the warp. Because I want to go back into Nishanzel and pick up various pieces of like solid Dwemer metal and stuff, which is why I want the extra weight. Because I want to make a new sword. And I also want to make one of the armored circlets. The the dwarven armored circlet in this case, because that's the highest I can make. Ideally I'd like to move up some of the to get to some of the cooler looking armor, such as Nordic. But I would actually have to work on my smithing at that point and well if I get a whole, pun whole bunch of Dwarven metal, eh, it would be fairly simple, actually. So, I basically want to fill my inventory with as much Dwarven metal as I can get. I believe the most worth it per weight, in terms of things I can pick up to g get Dwarven ingots smelting-wise, I believe it's s the uh, solid Dwemer metal. But I could be wrong. I do know that there's, I believe, at least three pieces, maybe just one or two, that I can access before I even enter a combat area. 
Plus, we have to remember that we never actually cleared the place out after we activated the control, so... There's no telling how it might turn out. It could be very bad, to be honest. And while I have... Uh, there's still going to be carts and carriages, and technically fast travel should have reactivated. I don't want to use it, at least outside the bonfire warps. So, that, uh, if I could remove carts and, uh, or sorry, carriages and ships entirely, I think that would make it more interesting because, well, I'm not really going to use them anyhow because as it currently stands, they mostly only go to the uh, main, I think they only go to the main holds to begin with. And I'd like a reason to actually explore across the country. There's a piece. Didn't really look too hard around here. There's a pickaxe, but I don't believe that's going to do me any good in here. Uh, we're going to be mostly exploring places that should be fairly safe at the moment. So I'll keep candlelight out and use that to keep it nice and bright for us. Both to help me find uh, Dwemer Metal, as well as make it so it's ooh, easy to see. I did not see that. Curious. One thing I'm worried about is when it comes to getting into things farther out in the world or things that are much longer. Like, for example, when I eventually do go to Solstheim, I mean, I would have to be constantly going back to uh Skyrim in order to refurnish, replenish my Estus flasks, and I think that might be the point in time where I start using potions. Because you also have to remember that if I use weak potions, it is not going to turn out well. Because of the sheer fact of the drinking animation. Which I've also looked into, and the general bug with that is pretty much unresolvable. It's a common bug that happens across all of them. If you are moving, when you basically cause the animation to occur, there's a very, very, very high chance, if not a 100% guaranteed chance, to break... Oh, crap, I just realized there's a trap here. Or just remembered, rather. There's a very high chance that you'll screw it up and you'll have to do a weapon re-equip, so... It seemed me... I was like, wow, that died fast. I critically stroke it. Stroke it? Critically struck it. Uh... Now wait a second here. Shouldn't there... There's no way that these former beat all the, uh, the Dwemer automatons. Hmm. Anyhow, let's do what we did before, because the metals should be... I wish I would have picked up an axe right now. Ooh. Okay, do I have any poisons, I wonder? I have a weak lingering poison, and... Okay, spider venom's a bit too strong to use on these guys. We'll use a frostbite venom. Ow. And just to make things simple, we'll do it to him as well. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about with the, uh... difficulty of the mobs. Like, the first guy, he went down like he was a joke, but then that one's really difficult. Okay, good, I do have the flasks. Oh, but see, like, right there I wasn't moving and it did break, so... Eh, I can live with it. Just adds an extra little bit, yeah. I guess they managed to beat all the automatons, whatever. Now, the real thing we're going to have to keep track of is our weight, but luckily because of... I think it's more HUD in this case. More HUD should give us a... 
little menu thing. Yeah, it'll. So when I pick this up, I'll go up to 170, and my max is currently 424. I'll probably come back through and pick all the rest of them up. I might just stick with just this area. Ooh, hello. Uh. And let's put the candlelight on again. Yeah, because I probably wouldn't have seen this other. So the goal here is to basically... Oh, jeez. I'm assuming that the reason why that didn't kill me... Hmm. That's probably a complete waste to pick up. Yeah, I didn't see this last time. Resist Frost. I don't know if I've... If I had... Another... Oh. Well, that's not quite what I meant to do. Screw it. The last coin can stay there. I don't care. I lost my train of thought. I'm good at this. I can't tell. The noises I'm hearing. Is there something walking around? Or if it's just the machinery? It's probably me just being very paranoid, but we'll see. All the corpses are gone, so we've been out of here for a decent while, that's for sure. Which would explain, I think, why the former are here and the automatons are not. Looks like everything is turning out as I had hoped, though. It looks like getting enough scrap metal. I'm assuming this hasn't refilled. If it has, okay, I was going to say. That refilled, I'm going to be deeply confused. And. Oh, well, there goes the candle light. I think it might have already been gone. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, you know what? I'm going to consider what we got good enough. And leave with it. Because I don't really need to walk around any of the other places at this point. Maybe I'll pick up some... That trap could have killed me if I hadn't have been sprinting my way completely out and it hadn't been designed for if you were coming in. Uh, That's a spinal column. That's not a piece of metal. There we go. Make it so we can see what we're doing. Pop into first person view to make things a little bit simpler. Oh, I missed that on the way in. So this raises the question, what is my weight at? I see. Okay, there's some iron. Once again, I don't have a pickaxe. I mean, I think there's a pickaxe, just... I know there's a pickaxe just over here by the, uh, cart. But honestly, I don't think it's worth grabbing and running back. Uh, that would put me overweight. I think that's about all we're going to get. So we'll head back out. We'll use the smeltery to melt everything down. Uh, hopefully it's still daytime, because we'll have to buy some materials from... At least I think we should have to buy some materials. I'll have to check my bottomless box, see what I've got in it in terms of bars and leather. Bars and leather. Because I'd like to make uh, the immersive weapons Dweamer sword, which is the Eastern Dweamer's. Uh, I don't know if it's just called a long sword or a sword. I believe the long sword is the two hander. Oh, well, I'm here. What, what the hell are Thalmor doing here? Good to see Skyrim. Still has Move. I need to see. I do not have resist frost. Okay. Good. I needed that. I think ideally, because of the way things are going to work out, at least 
uh, the there was a perk change by the Dark Souls combat mod with blocking. No, that's not blocking. It changed this to require 90. Which basically means that this isn't accessible till I have 90. Unless automatic perk... Well, automatic perks could potentially break it and give me the thing, or it could potentially break and give me the inner, the skill in between to make up for the change made to the perk tree, so... I'm not quite sure what will transpire there, but... I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But elemental protection is a very, very good blocking bonus. And once I can get that, it'll mean that I can deal with mages and dragons much, much simpler. But, like I said, that's block 90. That's a long ways away. There's a very good chance that automatic perks could break and give it to me, which it might accomplish, to be honest, or it might not. We'll see what happens with that. But finishing out the block tree and getting blocked to 100 would actually be really ideal because I've looked at a lot of the stuff in it. <sighs> I don't want to do the Dawn Guard. Uh, where's the smelter down here? The guy's talking about me, but I'm not paying attention. Uh, wait, what? I didn't know. Oh, harvest overhaul will let me break things down. Yes, please. Really? I can break down lock picks. I do have a pickaxe. What is this? Screw it. I convert gold into gold ingots, and I'm assuming I could also do vice versa. Do I have any gold ingots? If I do, I might keep them. Uh, I guess we'll go up to the bottomless box before we start messing with things. Okay, what do we have? We have eight iron ingots. We have a gold ingot. Uh, we have two steel. A bunch of leather sources. Okay. So one of two things is about to happen. I'm about to overweight myself. Come on. I might have to deal with it. Turn off at least some of the animations. Because it seems like the opening ones have a bad habit of getting stuck lately. Now, I'm 99.98% sure that none of the glamour stuff that I'm going to make requires a hide of any form. Mostly because there's no leather involved in some of its stuff. Uh, we'll make 20 strips. That's actually really helpful. So, we've got... We may end up needing Corundum. Oh. We may end up needing some Corundum? Not that. Swords. Yeah, I need a Corundum ingot, which I do believe I did not have. We're going to ignore the fact that that breaks, by the way, if you look at my hand. Huh. Weird. I think there's some kind of weird interface bug that happens. Uh, this was the thing I thought about making, but I decided against it because I thought that it would actually be a bit too strong. You know what I mean? Okay, so I need a corundum ingot. You or not? But where'd you go? Orc. But, but, but where? Why are you over here? Do you have Corundum? Of course not. 
You are useless. What are you doing? Move. So, I guess... They'll probably go to Solitude to get that. Right here. This is the other thing I wish to make. The Dwarven Circling. It counts as Dwarven Armor as the helmet, but it's a circling. Uh, the only thing that annoys me is the fact that it weighs eight less than the Dwarven Helmet, but honestly, it doesn't mean much. And I was looking at the Golden Plate gear, and this is added in by ZZJ's wardrobe, I think it's called. And it requires gold, which obviously I haven't really found much in the way of gold. And let's be honest, having a set of armor made out of gold doesn't make any sense to me, because gold is malleable. But it's got higher armor than you think you should have. And I believe... I don't know what it's actually got in terms of male meshes, because I do believe it is designed for female characters. Because that's what I do, just kind of load my uh, thing up. Freaking tweener breastplate. Well, I need to make stuff. That's too lower armor, but I'm curious as to what it looks like. Eh. Let's not do silly things, shall we? Right. So, circle it. Circle it. Hmm. Okay. We're not going to question how that stays on my character's head. Okay, so bonfire menu, please. Warp. Solitude. The original plan was to quest around Solitude, but... I decided that like, I already have one perk that gives me, I think it's a 25% bonus to armor for having a piece of armor, piece of heavy armor in the four primary slots. So, that would increase my survivability for one. And reward me more for using heavy armor versus, say, light armor. Which I could very easily make some light armor. Uh, what was it? Elven I had access to, maybe? That that might be a bit of wishful thinkman on that one. That's right, wishful thinkman. Another thing. My frame rate's generally fine, except for like when I'm in cities and looking toward like down the long busy section of the cities. I actually uh, looked into that and that seems to be mostly because of my CPU. There's but there's no nothing I can do about that because in order to really get anything better, I'd have to completely switch over to Intel, and that would cost me about $550, and I don't have any. Why do you not have any Corundum? Why does nobody have Corundum? This is getting obnoxious. Return any time you need arms for armor. My forge never rests. I'm pretty sure I could get Corundum in White Run, and we started off in White Run. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I didn't want to make this an entire episode of just teleporting around, but at this point, it's a crafting episode because I've I've looked at the clock. Wrong city. I just clicked Winterhold. Slow clapping myself. Good job. Wait, did I click? Hold. Windhelm. Yeah, I probably clicked Windhelm. Because, theoretically, if it's organized by name, Winter Hold would be at the end. Yeah. As expected. On fire menu. I want to go to White Run. Stop wasting time. Just go to Wind. Wi not Wind Helm. I was in Wind Helm. White Run. By the time I get there, 
it's going to be like 6 p.m. or 10 p.m. or something stupid. I'm not actually going to be able to buy it from the shop. And then I'll have to wait. And then I'll be wasting everyone's time. Yep. I don't know why it is, but... The loading screen mod I have in sometimes just doesn't do anything and just gives me a black screen. I'm gonna be honest. This is actually okay. Because it takes my average bitrate that I use for my conversions, and when I'm on a loading screen, every amount of time I'm on a loading screen is extra bitrate that effectively gets freed up for everything else. I don't claim to be the looking to protect yourself. Overall increasing quality. Better. Okay, so corundum ingots uh I'll just buy all of that. Because screw it. I wasted enough time on this stupid stuff. I feel like Don't I needed moonstone for something. Maybe I was just looking at something silly at some point. Who knows? So, Eastern Dwemer Sword. Bam! There's a few other random things I can make. Like that. I'm not really particularly... I'm trying to avoid anything which stats seem too high, and I'm also trying to avoid anything that looks a little bit too... I don't know. Impractical for my tastes. Look at that. The Imperial Sword is much skinnier now. And it does that to pretty much all of the vanilla weapons. Some of them, like the... The Dwemer Dagger, you can't really notice much of a difference on, but... We can make a Dwarven Bow. Can you make a dwarven crossbow? Really? Oh, I really want to use a crossbow instead of a bow. Doing it. I need to increase my smithing anyhow, so. Why not, right? I can make the light armor version of a shield. It takes an iron ingot and a dwarven metal ingot. I could technically make a whole bunch of those, but that price just seems way too cheap to me. I'm trying to not do what I normally do, which is just, I'm going to abuse the system and repeatedly craft one thing over and over. I think we've reached the extent of the things that I can create within reason. Huh. Those are made out of gold, and they become worth more than the gold put into it. But the chance of you ever getting that price from a vendor is pretty much impossible. Got some good pieces out there. Uh, what do I want to do? First, I want to start with the grindstone. Yeah, that gets pretty strong, but I'm okay with that. Huh? I guess the uh, crossbows are unaffected by that mod. That could be both good and bad. K okay, auto save. I actually going to set that to where are you? Where are you over here? Five. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now we're going to unfavorite you, and we will favorite you. We will set you to two. Eh, it doesn't have an actual scabbard, but that's fine. Don't you be careful, me. Do you not understand I don't claim that I could probably kill you? Got that on me. This relieves me of the question. What does this do to our armor? 135 to 195. Yeah, the 25% increase is a pretty big deal. So. I think... God, the boots of this armor are enormous. Have you met my father? I don't expect you to you give me any kind of interesting answer to this question, but what do you have for sale? Don't forget to hmm. check inside the shop if you need anything. Well, before we end this, which the next time we uh, 
meet. We should be back in solitude. Oh, shut up. I want to go see... I don't know if he normally sells unless you're part of the companions, so I'm very interested to see whether or not he does. Got a lot of steel to shape. He does sell. Gods be praised. He doesn't sell anything. I can actually buy that armor. I could craft that armor. Why would I buy it? I think it's a bit broken, guys. So you basically don't sell anything interesting. You sell the wolf sword. But I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll ever do the companions or not. Maybe. Maybe I'll try to eventually do everything. Because why not? You know what? I'm curious. I want to see what the brigand chess piece looks like. We need to level our smithing. What is the remaining components required to craft it? Probably steel. If you don't mind, I'd like you to move. No, oh, I can craft it right now. Okay. Why did this say, suddenly say arm? I just realized something, by the way. I have an item that would allow me to improve these things much simpler. But anyhow, let's... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Aside from the massive, massive shield clipping. Oh, never mind, there's massive shield clipping anyhow. I actually really like how that looks. I still got the bulky armor look without the really obnoxious pauldrons. So you could say that it's Dwemer armor without the obnoxious pauldrons. I don't suppose there's a very small chance that there's... No. No, there's no matching pieces for the other slots. Wah wah. What? I don't claim what is people's obsession? With using the things that I want to use. So that'll go up to 77, that'll go up to 79. And this is giving us smithing level, which is even better. Uh, screw it. And even though I really don't want to, it seems a bit almost cheaty to me. Let's just spend the rest of our iron making these. You know what? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking Let's upgrade them too, because why not? If I really need the uh, dwarven ingots, I can go get some pretty easily. And then let's just abuse all that Have you to get a little bit of money off of her. Mm, blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. No, uh, it's not that much money, so meh. Uh, do pretty good on everything else, I'd say. The rest of this just needs to get put away. I'll put that away because I like collecting things for some reason. Don't forget to check inside. It's a little obsession. I wonder, can I melt down the gold and get? No. Although I could make a gold and get out of 15 gold rings. Ooh, I could melt down that chest piece into four ingots. I don't really see a whole point, but I could. I think my biggest source of materials at this point is going to be melting down random armors and stuff that I, I find. It's the easiest way to acquire ingots and one of the big reasons why I like the harvest overall. So, take everything and we'll plug it away in here. Let's be honest, the real difference between these is a most three armor. This is nothing to really be concerned about. Oops. Name. 
There, that can go in there, and we'll put the arrows in there just to clean up the inventory graphically a little bit. Those in there. That. And corundum ore, or metal ingots, gold ingot, or chalcum, steel. I think. Oh, right. I should probably put these in here. No point keeping those on me. And that brings us down to a weight of 131. Granted, I don't have a two hander at the moment. Because. Come on. I haven't been using a two hander. But. Meh. These boots are obnoxiously bulky. Have I mentioned that? Anyhow. I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys. Actually, let's make sure I didn't level up first. No, I didn't. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.